Okay, question three on this uh, Unit 1 Foundation paper. And I've just rearranged it slightly, so I've got the picture of uh, Tommy looking very sharp in his striped trousers and his white t-shirt. He's got a very fetching wardrobe here that you can choose between. Now, um, what we need to do is we just need to complete the table to show all the combinations of all the clothes he wears. So, if he has a white t-shirt, he can either wear the striped or the grey uh, jeans. So let's work logically. So if we put, if he's wearing a striped t-shirt, well, he can switch. So he can either wear striped with striped, or he can wear striped with grey jeans. Either one, I'm sure he's going to look very sharp. Um, he can also then, he's got one final t-shirt to wear, and if you just keep grey the same, then again, we can just change the jeans. So we can look at striped, or we can have the grey t-shirt with it, which I don't think with the grey jeans would look very good, but let it go. So that's easy. So two marks for that, for just filling those in. Basically, if you get one combination right, it's one mark, and the other combination right, it's the other mark. And part B, it just says, a nice easy two marks, it says one morning, Tommy dressed in the dark. Um, well, looks like he chose his clothes in the dark as well, but uh, he chose one t-shirt and one pair of jeans at random. So what is the probability that he chose matching t-shirts and jeans? So, well, the only matching ones is a striped with a striped and a grey with a grey. They're the only matching ones. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six different options. So the probability is just two out of six, which you can simplify to a third, but for probability you don't need to. Just picking the option that the, that matching t-shirt and jeans means that it's striped and striped and grey and grey. So there's two options out of the six total options. And that's it.